Hello and welcome to the microwave engineering lecture titled Power in Two Port Networks. Here is a schematic of a two port network with scattering parameters at characteristic impedance Z0 connected in between a voltage source with some impedance and a load impedance. First, we're going to take a look at some local parameters. The impedances of the source and the load can be written as this, where Zs is the impedance of the source and Zl is the impedance of the load. The reflection coefficient seen from the network to the source is gamma s which is equal to Zs minus Z0 over Zs plus Z0. Remember that this is local reflection. Now, the reflection coefficient seen from the network to the load is given by gamma L, which is equal to Zl minus Z0 and Zl plus Z0. Also, local reflection. Now we will look at the available power and impedance matching in order to calculate the available power. Now, if nothing is connected, the current and voltage across the load are defined by this, IL equal to VS over ZS plus EL and VL. Now, the RMS power delivered to the load is then given by this expression. We can substitute VL and IL with these expressions and put them in here. Then simplify the expression and then recall that ZS and ZL can be written in terms of real and imaginary components and then we arrive at this expression. Now, the RMS power PL is maximized when the reactance of the source and the reactance of the load get cancelled. So now, the total available power to the load is given by this expression. This function has a maximum when the partial of PA with respect to RL equals zero. We take the derivative and we obtain this expression. Now, we can solve for RL and we find that RL, the resistance of the load, equals the resistance of the source. Now, in order to deliver maximum power to the load, the impedance of the load must equal the conjugate impedance of the source. This is called conjugate matching. As we stated before, when the resistance of the load equals the resistance of the source, the equation for maximum power reduces to this, PA equals to the magnitude of Vs squared over 8Rs, when the impedance of the load equals the conjugate of the impedance of the source. We can now take a look at some global parameters. So now we go back to the original schematic where the two port network is connected in between the source and the load. Now the input impedance observed by the source into the network slash load is given by this expression in terms of transmission parameters. Now the reflection experience from the source into the network slash load is given by gamma in, which in transmission parameters is given by this expression, or in scattering parameters is given by this. Now, the reflection coefficient from the network slash source to the load is given 
by gamma out and it is this expression in terms of gamma s and scattering parameters. The average power delivered by the source is given by pn and it is this expression. And finally, the average power delivered to the load is given by this expression. Now, when the two-port network is connected to the system, the maximum possible power, PA, that the source can deliver to the load is when the source impedance is now conjugate matched to the input of the network. PA is given by this. Note that this is just the maximum possible power. It's not what the source is actually delivering. So PS is going to be equal or less than PA. Now, if the source impedance is conjugate match to the input of the network, the maximum power available is going to be this. And thus, the maximum power that can be delivered to the load is given by this expression. 